what's up broskies? It's Sona. Welcome back to my channel. I hope your day is going very swag and epic because we are going to be doing another drawing Roblox stereotypes video. Yes, that's right. Another Roblox stereotypes video and I know I haven't done one of these in like five whole months and if you have not already seen the previous three ones that I have done in this series, be sure to check them out. They're going to be in the description of this video. But basically in this series, I draw Roblox players that you commonly see in Roblox games, which are stereotypes and I draw draw them. So that's pretty cool. If you like my art, be sure to leave a like on this video and also don't forget to subscribe because I make Roblox art content all the time and this video's theme is going to be the most annoying Roblox stereotypes that you come across. So let's get into it. So the first Roblox stereotype that we're going to be drawing today is the flexor slash rich kid stereotype. Now this stereotype is definitely very common and I see it everywhere. Normally you're going to see this player wearing like a bunch of limited items or just really expensive items in general and some of them even take it as so far as to wear as many limited hats or expensive hats as they possibly can just to show off. Some of the most common items that you'll typically see them wear is like a Volk and if you didn't know most Volk hats are usually really really expensive and are pretty rare so those are a huge flex. And if they do wear the Volk most likely they have a pair of antlers to go with it along with some headphones maybe. And just in general usually a lot of the hats that they're wearing is most likely really expensive or just flat out limited. And a lot of the time they actually wear off sale hats as well because wearing a hat that people could no longer get is also a flex. And from my experience you will typically see these types of players in games like mocap games, you know, hangout games. Mostly just games where there isn't a lot to do and you kind of just sit around everyone and just stand there and do nothing. And there's also games out there on Roblox that really just seem like they're made for these players. For example, there's this game called Vibe Hangout and if you go there you'll mainly see just a bunch of people with a bunch of expensive stuff and like limiteds. A lot of them are wearing Volks and the headless head and they're kind of just standing there and dancing and flexing. Again, just not really doing anything. You'll find a lot of hangout games where you see this happening. I actually dressed up as a bacon and I tried to talk to people and they completely ignored me. Like not a single person acknowledged me. So yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. So yeah, for this character's outfit, I gave them the really common rich kid items, I guess you could say. I gave him an ice Volk. I gave him an expensive pair of antlers. I also gave him these really expensive work lock headphones as well as some work lock shades which are also really expensive. And for the hair I gave him uh what how do you pronounce it? Fuchsia fashionista hair I think. It's basically just a pink beautiful boy hair but it was really expensive. I don't think it's on sale anymore. I'm pretty sure it was a limited though. And because rich players wear it so much I almost gave him the headless head but I decided not to because I didn't want my drawing to look boring so instead to make up for it I gave him the prankster face which I think definitely suits this type of player as well because they also like to wear that kind of face a lot. I also gave him the silver star crown limited hat which is a pretty popular item and at first I gave him a fedora because that's also a commonly worn hat but there was just so so many hats in this outfit that I got rid of it because again I didn't want it to look clustered even though at the same time that's kind of what I was looking for because these type of players wear as many limited as I possibly can even if it looks bad. For clothes I gave him an Adidas shirt because everyone wears Adidas for some reason on Roblox. Give him some fancy looking jeans and I gave him some Adidas shoes. I put a sword pack on his back because I see a lot of people wear sword packs as well. And last but not least, I made it so that he is holding a fat stack of cash in his hand just to show how much he loves his money. <laughs> so yeah, that is the, the flexor slash rich kid stereotype. I hope you like how this drawing turned out because I really, really like it. I'm very proud of this and I just think it looks really cool. Alright, so the next stereotype that we're going to be drawing today is the gossip girl slash drama queen stereotype. Oh my god, where do I even begin with these people? Alright, so these players are really, really common. I see them more than anyone, to be honest. And the way they act is basically just the name I gave them. They're gossip girls, they really like drama, they like fighting. And from my experience in general, just a lot of the time, they're not super, super pleasant to be around if you're not one of them. Like, when I see these people, I feel like if I were to even go 
as far as to breathe near them, they would straight up punch me in the face. That's what they look like they would do. They kind of just act like bad girls, like, you know, baddie. That's what they like to call themselves, baddies. I also like to call that bullies. <laughs> so in general, I just feel extremely intimidated whenever I come across any of these players because I feel like they're gonna scream at me. Or like, you know, just try to start a fight with me or something. Kind of reminds me of the bullies I had in my middle school. And I just want to quickly say, obviously not everyone who dresses this way is a gossip girl or is mean or anything like that. I'm just saying this is a stereotype and from a lot of people's experience, this is just what these people typically act like. So yeah, if you dress like this, you're fine. It's just a lot of people who do dress like this tend to act not so nice. Majority of the time you will see these people wearing just like the regular straight hair, like the cinnamon hair, or just like the black version of that hair. They usually got the typical spy cap on or sometimes the salad crown. A lot of the time they're dressed in all black and they also really like to wear crop tops and shorts. Sometimes they have tattoos, things like that. And something else that really, really adds on to the mean girl vibe for me is the fact that they wear their ur face a lot. Oh my God, I hate that face whenever I see it. I just automatically feel like that person's gonna be mean to me. But you know, I feel like that's probably what they're going for because again, they wanna be bad girls. You'll typically see these players in games like Meep City, you know, role playing games, hangout games. They're kind of just everywhere in general, but by far the game I see them in the most more than anything is for sure Tower of Hell. Like I swear there has not been a single time where I have gone to Tower of Hell and I haven't seen some type of toxic player who is like this. Like I always see gossip girls and they're always fighting about something or fighting with someone. I don't know, I just think Tower of Hell in particular really attracts these players for some reason, but I just see them so so much. Which is one of the main reasons why I don't play that game, but I digress. One really popular stereotype right now that I almost did was the Slender Girl, basically the people with like the stitch face and they wear all black. But you know, I haven't done the Gossip Girl yet, which is the most popular stereotype ever, so I really really wanted to do that, but I definitely made sure to put some elements of the Slender Girl in this avatar as well, because in my personal opinion, they're still very very similar. I gave her the cinnamon hair, the spy cap, the salad crown, I also gave her a pair of sinister branches or black iron branches, which I see a lot of these people wear as well. And another really, really common trend that I see is that they will typically wear two hairs. So if they're wearing the cinnamon hair, for example, they will wear the beautiful boy hair on top of that, which looks a little bit weird in my opinion, not gonna lie. Especially if you have a hat on, it kind of just pokes through it and looks kind of funny. So yeah, I definitely didn't skip it on that part. And for clothes, I gave her a crop top along with a plaid jacket, which I see a lot with the shoulder down as well. I also gave her a black black pair of shorts, and I see a lot of gossip girls wear fishnets for some reason so I gave her one leg that has that. And I also gave her a tattoo on her other leg because again, I commonly see tattoos on a lot of these people. And last but not least, I gave her a really really angry, mean expression on her face because it kind of looks like the ur face which is something that I see all the time. So yeah, that's it for the gossip girl stereotype. I hope you like how she turned out. I think this may be my favorite one that I did. I think I executed the stereotype pretty well. And last but not least, we are going to be drawing the script kid stereotype slash exploiter stereotype. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight to the point. No one likes these people. They're really, really annoying. And while I haven't encountered a lot of them, for the ones that I have encountered each time, I hate them with a burning passion. So yeah, this stereotype likes to use exploits and basically just ruins the game and the fun for everyone. All right, that's it. That's all I have to say about them. Go home. <laughs> but yeah, on a more serious note, no one likes Makes these people and for good reason and I'm not talking about the exploiters who don't do any harm to anyone and they're not really doing anything like super bad I'm talking about the people who try to be as annoying as possible with their exploits basically what these people will most commonly do is they will go to some site that gives you exploits or whatever like a script and then they download that script and then they kind of just use it in Roblox it's that easy to exploit but that's what they do again these scripts are usually insanely easy to get so it's not really impressive or anything Thing. They often use these for trolling. For example, there's a script where you can fling people around and annoy them a lot. And while that may be fun for the exploiter themselves, obviously, everyone else hates it because they just want to play the game. They don't feel like dealing with that crap. And other people use exploits for cheating inside a game. One time I was playing Identity Fraud, and in order to go to the next stage, this person literally just used a thing where it makes it so that they can no clip themselves and go through walls and just beat the whole game 
game within like two seconds, which completely ruins the fun, obviously. So what's the point in playing a game if you're just gonna cheat? And you know, if they're cheating specifically for themselves and it's only affecting them, you know, fine, whatever, I guess. But it obviously becomes a much bigger problem when they use exploits to mess with other players and just ruin their whole experience to the point where you're just like, okay, yeah, this guy's super annoying, I'm just gonna leave the server. All the while, the exploiter think they're the funniest and most genius person in the world, when in reality, they most likely just grab their script off of some random site, which took zero effort and literally anyone can do that, so I don't really think that deserves bragging rights. It's against Roblox's terms of service, so they shouldn't be doing that to begin with, but, you know, obviously they don't care. My most memorable and most hated experience with an exploiter is when I was doing my fan recording music video in my Roblox game for my fans, basically recording them dancing and stuff. And then this random script kid joined the game and started exploiting and basically flinging people around when I was trying to record. And they were invisible, so I was not able to ban them or figure out who it was until very later on. And no matter how many times I locked the server, rejoined it, shut it down, opened it up again, they kept coming back and it was so, so annoying. Oh my god. We eventually found out who it was and we banned them. And they got super salty. We also eventually figured out how to make it so that they could not use their exploit. But yeah, that was just such an annoying experience. Like, there's a difference between being funny and just flat out being annoying, and that's not funny. That's just you being a poop head, okay? Like, no one thinks you're funny besides yourself. Go outside or something. So drawing the exploiter was a little bit harder for me compared to the other drawings that I made because I didn't really know what kind of stuff they usually wore. But from what I've seen, it looks like their avatars are usually fairly simple, and sometimes they try to look like edgy hackers, even even though all they did was grab a script from a site, but I basically drew this noob with a fedora on and also a mask because a lot of script kids think that they're cool. And one thing that I have noticed is that they usually tend to wear a bunch of different colors of skin. So like green, red, blue, random stuff. So I also included that and I've seen a lot of exploiters and hackers wear this shirt right here. It's like a half guest, half noob thing. So I kind of just gave him that and I gave him some regular pants along with him holding a long script that he pulled off of a random site because that's all they do. So yeah, this is done. In my personal opinion, I don't think this one looks as good as the other ones, but I think it's fine. Again, I had a hard time with this one, but I still think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that was me drawing some lovely Roblox stereotypes. The theme for this video was, again, the most annoying Roblox stereotypes, and I definitely think I got that down in this video. So let me know your personal opinion on these stereotypes. Also let me know you think of my drawings, and also let me know what stereotypes you want to see in the next video of the series. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like the video as well as subscribe to my channel because it helps out a lot. And with that, I'll see all your broskies in the next video. Bye!